Hi everyone, it's Bob and Fran, and as you know by now, we are all about healthy aging. Today should be pretty interesting and sort of on the light side, because we're going to be answering some of your personal questions at random that are mostly about us that we've received over the past uh, couple months. So watch to the end, especially because you're going to find out what Fran, what sport Fran excels in. So let's start with the first question, Fran. Would you mind telling me where and when you first met and where you've lived? Yeah, well, that's a we, good, we good met, starting question, I think. We met our freshman year at uh, Indiana University. We dated for four years, and right after graduation, we got married and moved back to Chicago, where we were both from originally, and lived there until it got too cold. And in 1978, we moved to South Florida lived there for 25 years until it got too, too hot. hot. <laughs> so we came halfway back to Western North Carolina. And that's where we live now. So we're sort of uh, called halfbacks. Those of us that started up north mm -hmm. up here, moved down south, and now we moved halfway back. But we love it in the mountains of uh, North Carolina, Western North Carolina, and we're glad to be here. So the second question is for Fran. Fran, I am curious as to where you buy your clothes and what brands you famer, famous you favor most. Sorry. <laughs> this is kind of a funny question because really for having been on a whole food plant-based diet for over 15 years, I don't gain any weight. And so I don't outgrow my clothes. I literally have clothes that I have worn for a number of years, many, many years. And as far as brands, I have no clue. I buy most of my clothes at resale shops, shops that, uh, that give the profits to help um, organizations. For example, this shirt is a very expensive shirt that I paid $3 for, and it was from a hospice resale shop. So that's where I buy my clothes. So the next question is that I read that you have spent time in Thailand. Can you tell me what you guys did there? So uh, we did, we've spent uh, over a nine year period. Uh, we, we had uh, many, we've had extended stays there. And uh, at first we came just to enjoy the friendliness of the people, the, the uh, Thai culture. And the food. The food is <laughs> fabulous. And then, uh, we really uh, got into uh, the Buddhist part of the country. It's 98% Buddhist at, in Thailand. We wound up uh, teaching at the Buddhist University there for a six-year period. And then uh, as time went on, we got involved in the dark side of Thailand, which is the uh, trafficking, the human trafficking side. And we got uh, very active in uh, countering the illegal trafficking of children, usually young girls, into the sex trade. We loved every minute in Thailand and hope to return someday. Next question is, do you ever argue? How would you answer that? What do you think? Let's argue about it. <laughs> I think we argue very little. We do, and ma mainly the big one is about directions. I'm always giving wrong directions. That mean cart? Cart, yeah. In the car. Like I say yeah. turn right when I really mean left. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and so thank goodness for our GPS. That, yeah, she's that helped one. us a lot. <laughs> it saved our marriage, believe me. So the next question is, what do you guys do? What did you guys do before you became famous YouTubers? <laughs> Oh, YouTubers. Well, I don't know how famous we are, but we were in the real estate business together for many years. And uh, so we've been joined at the hip in business and every other way. Next question. You two talk a lot about eating a plant-based diet. What caused you to choose that over the conventional way of eating? And I, I think that a lot of you know our story that we both had life-threatening illnesses that we actually reversed by switching to a whole food plant-based diet. Yeah. The next question is, what are your personal views on taking the COVID vaccine? I think that's a really good question. And uh, we have never been like uh, 
crazy about taking vaccines, but with COVID, we took the vaccines at the advice of our doctor, who's a whole food plant-based doctor. And we did a lot of research on our own. So yes, we uh, are happy to say we took the COVID vaccine, double vaccine, and uh, that's our position on it. Uh, the, somebody asked if we could please tell a bit about our family, children and grandchildren. Well, we have three children. Uh, we have two daughters and a son. Our son actually went plant-based before we did. Um, we have four grandchildren. Uh, the youngest now is 21 years old. Yeah. And we don't have any great-grandchildren, but we have three great-grand-dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someday we'll have yeah. great-grandchildren. I will say that our children are scattered around the country. Uh, one is... Uh, has a family in Orlando, one in Laguna Beach, California, and the other in the suburban, Chicago area. suburban yeah. Chicago. The next question is, I love your YouTube video style. Very natural and with no frills, but always with some good tips. So how and why did y'all, y'all, <laughs> I like that. She must be from the South or he must be. How and why did y'all start your channel? Well, I'll tell you how. It's, it's sort of uh, interesting. Well, we've been retired for many, many years now, and we spent almost every day volunteering. Well, that came to an abrupt halt when the COVID came into being. And so that just shut down all our volunteer activities. And we sort of thought, like, how can we continue to help people without interacting directly face-to-face -face with them? And then we thought about Hey, YouTube. So I started looking into how to get onto YouTube and how to film a, 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 a video and how to edit the video. A lot of work. It was a lot of work, but it did keep my mind sharp. And we thought we had some valuable information to share on, on aging, on, on being healthy as you age, starting at any age. And so that's how we got and, started. And actually with COVID, it's more important than ever to stay as healthy as you can. Yeah, and as far as the no frills part, we're still not very good at producing a really slick video with and a, we lot never of, will be. a lot of pop-ups and, uh, no. and things going on. And that's just not our style. No. And I don't know if I have the ability to ever learn how to do that, but we're just going with what we do best right. and just talking naturally. So the next question, Fran, you want to read that? Sure. My husband and I read your book together, chapter by chapter, each evening. Oh, wondering. That's so nice. so nice. Wondering if you have a favorite chapter or two. And yes, I think we do. Um, the chapter about advice to the grandchildren. That that is a good one. I like that one. Maybe it's my favorite. I like the one that we did on something called my pen rye. My pen rye is a term used in. Thailand, that means never mind. But, but never mind in a nice way. Put it out of your mind. Right. So it's a way to remind ourselves to don't buy into a stressful situation. Just say, my pen rye. Put it out of your mind. It's no big, big deal. deal. I think the, another one I like from the book, it took me a long time <laughs> to uh, edit this and put it together. We both added to it, of course is the way to handle the holiday season every year. Which can be very stressful. We've got a lot of uh, information and tips on how to handle the holidays. That's a good chapter in the yeah. book. Hi friends, just a quick break here. Bob and I are very concerned about the dangerous chemicals in our drinking water and how they can ruin our health. So for several years, we've been using this convenient and economical AquaTrue tabletop reverse osmosis system in our kitchen to transform our tap water into filtered and purified water. No installation or plumbing is needed and the result is pure delicious water. So we urge you to click on the AquaTrue link in the description below and see for yourself how this can add so much to your healthy lifestyle and longevity. Please invest in your health now. All the proceeds, by the way, from the book 
go to the uh, idea to uh, counter the child trafficking that we spoke about earlier. So Fran gets a question here. Saying, <laughs> Somebody asked, how, they said, my hair and my skin look so nice and young. What are my secrets? Yeah. Well, first of all, thank you for the compliment. Uh, many years ago, I decided that I wanted to eliminate chemicals from the products that I use. And so I went to natural uh, hair color and natural skin care products, products that were not harmful to the environment or to my skin. And obviously they work because I got a compliment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I, thought, I think Fran always looks very well-groomed and certainly doesn't look like uh, she's uh, 80 plus years old. Thank so. you. Uh, this question's for me. It seems that Fran does all the cooking at home. So Bob, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good question. So in the kitchen, I am the dishwasher. Not really the dishwasher, but the guy that loads puts, the dishwasher. Yeah, kind of wash off the dish and then put it in the dishwasher. I do that really well, yes, I think. Do. But uh, I'm not too great of a cook. I help a little bit when Fran asks me to, which is kind of mm -hmm. rare. And uh, so my time is uh, spent primarily on getting these YouTube videos uh, up and running. The next question we were asked is, how do you stay so slim? Well, I have to tell you that since we switched to a whole food, plant-based, no oil diet, yeah. not only did we stay slim, we actually lost weight while eating more food. Yeah. So it hasn't been a problem at all. Yeah, Fran, Fran and I both are very big eaters. And uh, we eat, <laughs> we just eat like two crazy people and we just don't gain weight. So the no, the no oil part of the plant-based, it's a big deal. When I'm talking about no oil, I mean no oil for cooking or for salad dressing. Right. That and alone can make a huge difference. Yeah, and I think we and look you, for you don't high, miss them at all. No, you don't miss them. And I think we look for high fiber foods as well. Always. Yeah, yeah. so something okay. to think about. So this question says, I, I read in your biography that you traveled to over 75 countries, which we have, which are some of your favorite countries? That's hard to answer, there's so many. Yeah, <laughs> well, offhand, I, I mean, Thailand was probably, uh, because we spent so much time there year after year, and then we got to travel after we left Thailand so India was like uh, just a fantastic place. We loved India. We loved the culture there. And the and, food. And the food, of course. Yeah. Uh, we spent uh, quite a bit of time in Russia. It was the Soviet Union in those days. And that was very, uh, we were followed everywhere we went. It was very mysterious and a very interesting yeah. place. Uh, We've been to China. We spent a lot of time in China. Burma is another country that we love. We were also followed there uh, for, from city to city, everywhere we went. And of and, course, Israel was a very yeah, special It was an place. amazing place. We, we've been to Israel uh, several times. Three, three or four times, yeah. So uh, that was some of our favorites. Yeah. Can't now, think of any that we really didn't like. No, we loved every yeah. country we've traveled to. So... Somebody, We're coming yeah, toward yeah. the end. <laughs> somebody, so, somebody asked, what are your favorite sports and do you participate in any? Well, well, first of all, we're both from Chicago, so we are huge Cubs fans. Chicago Cubs baseball. We love baseball. Uh, I like all sports. Fran, by the way, if you didn't know it, is was, I guess, or still was, is. Still definitely is was. A, a great bowler. I mean it. She had okay, so I had bowl. one really high bowling No, sport. you were consistently good. And... Uh, the other day, I surprised Bob by telling him that I actually won an archery medal when I was in camp when I was 11 or 12 years old. Yeah. And then I went to my jewelry box and pulled out the medal. He was shocked. After knowing me all these years, he never knew that. About archery. Me. <laughs> well, I'll have to watch out. I'll have to duck. <laughs> yeah. And our favorite sport these days, if you would call it a sport, is hiking. We yeah. love to go hiking every day when possible. Yeah, we try to get up uh, early every morning, which we do, and uh, take a hike. And uh, <laughs> that's sort of our treadmill. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the final question, uh, 
I guess would be to wrap up this session. It says, what do you each believe to be the, in capital letters, the most important factor in healthy aging? Now, we think that's a pretty easy answer for us. And to us, it's the food. Yeah, it's all about the food. So we advise you to eat healthy, uh, go for a plant-rich diet, if not a totally plant-based diet. High fiber. You know, no, um, eliminate the oils, the processed foods. You don't want any of that. So it, it is for us all about the food. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, sort of lighthearted uh, video today. And I want you to feel free to ask any additional questions in the comment section below. And then we can do another video with some of the new, newer questions. We want to express our appreciation for your support and being part of our healthy aging community. So don't forget to subscribe and get notified when a new video comes out. And, and we look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye thanks for, for coming. Hope you enjoyed it.